Hello, welcome back to We Are Crafted In His Image. We are working on project number three today in our Grassy Grove Cocoa and Crafts class. Um, again, allergies are still killing me, so if I sniffle and snuffle a lot, I apologize. Um, this is the card we're going to make, and we're going to play with watercolors again with our watercolor paper. And this would be, this is a great sympathy card that you can use. And you could change up the sentiment, use this as a birthday card, whatever you want to use it for. But um, let's go ahead and get started. Put this in front of me so I can see. And pull out our projects. You have enough for two cards. I'm only going to make one. And I don't think there's anything in the envelopes this week. We have a plain white, this is our basic white cardstock, and this is of course the watercolor paper. You can definitely tell it's a very thick paper. Um, and then our card base. So I'm going to start with our watercoloring. Again, pull out the one I was using last time. And you will need a nice big thick paintbrush, <laughs> preferably one that's clean. <laughs> I just splattered blue all over from my last project. Um, and I do suggest that you have a cup of water handy because even using the aqua pen, it just doesn't get out enough water. It takes away too long. It's easier to do this with a cup of, of water to handy. Um, grab you an acrylic block to use for a palette. And for this one, we are going to use some of the balmy blue. We are going to use the smoky slate. I'm going to kind of give it a foggy background look to our card. And for the green on the bottom, you can, and I probably should have done this earlier, you can just take your, your um, old olive and touch it in one of the corners. And there you go. Now you've got some old olive ready to go. <clears throat> and those are the three colors we're going to use. And I'm going to start just like last time, only this time I'm going to get the whole entire paper wet. In fact, to make it stay flat, it actually works if you wet one side really well and then flip it over and work on the other side. That way it kind of evens it out. See how it's starting to curl up? If you now flip it over and work on this side, it's gonna, it'll lay flat, flatter for you. So, now what we're going to do, we're going to get... Oh, and one of the things I didn't think about is I'll probably end up with some, yep, color on the back because that was wet and that's water, that's water based. That's okay, it's on the back. I'm not worried about it. We're going to get this wet. Lots of water on it. I don't know if you can see that in there, but you want it really, really wet. Now, I'm going to start in approximately the middle ish with my gray color the smoky slate and I'm just gonna run this right through the middle like that okay and then I want it to blend out a little bit more so I'm gonna just add a little more a little bit thicker line and just let it bleed and if you want it to go up higher on one area bring it up a little bit Okay, now I want to make sure I have plenty of water that it hasn't dried. Looks like I can tell that I still have plenty of water up there. Now I'm going to grab my blue and I'm just going to touch to the top. But you see how bright that blue is? I really don't want it that bright. So now I'm going to grab some more of that gray and I'm going to touch it up there as well. And let the gray kind of tone down the blue so it's not as bright of a blue color. That's our sky-ish. There we go. And then on the bottom, again, I want to make sure it's wet. I'm going to grab my old olive and come in here and just let that color bleed. And then before we can do anything else, we got to let this dry thoroughly. Thoroughly, thoroughly dry. So I'm going to pause the video here and I will be back once it is dry. Okay, I am back. I'm gonna turn a light on over here because we have a rainstorm outside and it's getting kind of dark in my crafty space. So, we are back here and you notice that it isn't too overly warped um, because we wet the backside and the front. 
um, that helped it to dry a little more flat than if we had just done the front. Um, now we're going to go ahead and work on the stamping on this card. So we're going to need, actually we do not need the old olive. Yes, we do need the old olive. And the evergreen and the soft suede. Or the, yes, so I'm going to start by, oh I did not mount that stamp. I'm going to use the stamp that has like clusters of wildflowers. Get this on a block. And I'm just going to stamp that in the foreground of our card front. <clears throat> stamp it once across here. And then stamp again. There we go. And then I'm going to pull in, I don't need this one anymore. Let me see on the inside. Yep, I just did the trees on the inside. I'm going to pull in the Evening Evergreen and let's do some trees. I'm actually going to stamp one cluster down low and then before re-inking I'm going to stamp again. I'm going to raise it up a little bit and off over to one side and stamp so we have a lighter tree there. And Then I'm going to stamp another set over here in this left side, right side. There we go. Oh, I don't want to clean that yet because I also want to do the inside of the card. I'm going to stamp the trees again. This time in the bottom right. And then I think for the envelope, I'm actually going to stamp the deer. I should move all this paper here. Let's it's wet. I don't want to get other projects, parts of our projects wet. Oh, and my paper underneath is all warped. Ah, oh, dear, 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 dear. We need soft suede. Or like I said, I think the smoky slate would also be a good color for a deer. And I'm just going to stamp it in this bottom corner. While I have it out, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my second one for my sample card. Okay, and then I want to stamp a deer on the card front itself and I'm going to put him right about here I think. That's a good spot for my deer. And then the last thing we need to do is our sentiment. So I'm going to stamp up. Sometimes you need to know that someone really cares. And just pick a spot up in your sky. You're going to get my head in the way, I'm sorry. Actually, before I stamp it down, I want to check something. I am stamping on here. Ah, see how crooked that ended up being to the line? That tells me that my sticker... Let me try again. I'm going to try to make sure that my U and that are lined up on a line... Oh, it is. Okay, so it was just the way I had stamped it. So that means it is pretty straight on here. So let's stamp. Now this is one time when using the Stamparatus would be a good idea because oftentimes on this textured paper your images don't come out really well and if you had done, if I had done it on the Stamparatus then I'd be able to re-stamp again and get a nice clear, super clear shot. Which, this one came out nice and clear so I'm good. Um, now back to this piece, I want to put the inside sentiment, that someone is me. And let's make sure we're straight, try to keep my head out of your way. Ah, kind of crooked, kind of very crooked actually, let's try this again. Yeah, that one is, let me go up. Okay, so two sides to your paper. I'm going to tilt mine. What happened here is I noticed that it's going downhill even though I had this lined up straight. So this one I tilted it slightly up to the right and I got it a little straighter. So we're going to try again. Hopefully this one will come out a little bit straighter. Yes, much better. 
So now let's get our our trees back on here. <clears throat> and there we go. Okay, so that's going to be my inside. All right, stamping is finished. But what I do want to do, you remember our very first card in this project, how after we stamped the image, we took a watercolor aqua pen, and I'm going to grab this one here. Make sure I got water coming out of it. And just kind of scribbled. I might have too much water coming out of this one. On our evergreens to blend those colors out. That's what I'm going to do here. Do the same thing here. And it just gives your picture a more of a watercolor look because that's what you're doing. You're doing watercolor. And you even go and. I have I have too much cut water coming out of there. Now you'll notice that when I do it on this one, it will be much lighter because there isn't as much ink on there. It'll still blend, but it's not going to blend as dark as this one will. You can blend down that trunk. Also, when you do yours, when you stamp your deer, you may want to try and make sure that that back leg is not over top of the tree. As on my first one, I'll show you. I stamped him over here, and I ended up with the tree going through his backside. So, if you don't want that, then try and push him over a little bit so it doesn't look like it's the tree is in him, on him. There we go. And you can even come in with your watercolor brush and you could blend out your deer a little bit if you wanted to. What I'm going to do down here, because I got it slightly crooked and there's no darker color there, I'm going to use my watercolor, my water, and just blend this out like that. Kind of blend it in there. There we go. Okay, those parts are finished. Time to assemble. Let me get the water out of the way. We have a card base. Oh, just realized I have ink on my finger. I don't want to get it on a project. There we go. Now let's glue our inside in and glue the front on. So that was my crooked side, yes. Yes, that's the crooked side. <coughs> Excuse me. And again on this one, even though we got it relatively flat, it still has some warpage, so I'm going to put adhesive all the way around all four edges. I want to make sure this sticks down pretty well. There we go. All right, let's get our inside in first. And then the outside. And there you go. Finished card. There's one. Where's my other one? There it is. Woohoo! That is our third project finished. Isn't that fun? I love how they come out so different every single time. Um, I will be back next week with our last project, which is a three dimensional card. And I hope to see you then. Until then, <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. God's love and blessings to you. <laughs> Bye.